it's a real story, based on a real story, um, uh, from the uh, 19th century. Correct. And it's um, set in the Arctic. It's about uh, two ships that travel to the Arctic to try and find a route, a trade route through the Arctic. And then it's sort of what happens to that group of men when they become trapped in the Arctic and all the things that can and do go wrong. And also uh, that there will be some atmosphere created that uh, is beyond perhaps our understanding, which yes. is always very interesting. Uh, I play um, James Fitzjames, who is within the sort of command structure, sort of third, um, third in command. Um, is he was? Um, I mean, it's important to say that um, both Kieran and I play uh, people who really existed. Um, um, Fitzjames was uh, a sort of um, decorated hero of the of the Victorian Navy, and he was. Um, um, had not been to the uh, uh, to the polar regions before, so he was a, a novice at that. But was highly experienced at um, uh, officer and um, had uh, ex uh, yeah very experienced sailor. And however, he is not all that he seems. Um, so uh, and uh, as with a lot of the characters in the show, um, through the process of um, encountering both the the world of the Arctic and some of the terrors that uh, that holds, um, the the characters uh, are forced to um, encounter aspects of themselves that maybe they have sort of hidden or or um, concealed. Well, I play Sir John Franklin, who's the commander of the expedition which is to chart the f remaining, I think, 400 miles of the Northwest Passage. Uh, I make a terrible choice, uh, and uh, that decision that I make leads uh, eventually to the disaster, the absolute disaster that unfolds in the story. Most of the work that I did was through the script and through some research around uh, the character of Sir John Franklin and of the times. I mean, the book actually um, concentrates mainly on Crozier and Goodsir in the book. And so, I mean, it's true to uh, Franklin and Fitzjames are kind of referred to but aren't addressed directly in a way so you don't get sort of their thoughts as, you, as those characters do in the novel. So uh, the book was less of a source for me. Um, I went, went more to the history itself and then obviously David and Sue's scripts. Well, uh, with regards to the uh, production values, uh, when we went on set, well, first of all, before we went on set, we were decked out in these extraordinary, beautiful, and they felt authentic, and they felt lived in already, although they were made for us by uh, the brilliant costume Annie designer Simmons. Annie Simmons. Yeah, they were fantastic. And the layers and layers that they put on, uh, fortunately, I didn't have to want to wear one of those ghastly Welsh wigs, Welsh wigs. which would have protected so you underneath. Uh, I think you would have looked good in it, though. Well, thank you. Um, but then, having got dressed up in that, and you're suddenly it changes the way you look at yourself, you present yourself, and then to go on to the set in the studio, and this extraordinary uh, ship that Jonathan McKinstry designed and kitted out, once you were inside that, or on it, you just, I mean, yes, there was green screen all around us, but you actually felt a part almost of a seafaring nation. Mm. That's what I thought. Yeah, it was good. He, he helped us a lot. Mm. It was, um, yeah, no, I mean, what they uh, what they built on those sound stages in Budapest was nothing short of remarkable. They, uh, Jonathan McKinsey did an amazing job, and uh, it's a huge, a hugely important ingredient to the show because I think in order to tell the story successfully, we really need to take an audience and transport them to the Arctic and to those ships, ships, because uh, that combination of both this um, 
huge desert, um, sort of frozen desert mm -hmm. outside, and then the claustrophobia of these ships, you know, these two ships um, alone out there in the on the ice. Uh, yeah, they're important sort of um, elements of the kind of psychology that they were encountering out there. Musisz się zastanawiać, co robimy tu w twoim świecie. Przyjechaliśmy, żeby znaleźć drogę do Chin i Indii. Nasza sytuacja jest groźniejsza niż myślisz. Nasi ludzie przebywają tam w niewyobrażalnej temperaturze. To miejsce chce nas zabić. Ani człowiek, ani niedźwiedź. Więc co? Cały czas nas śledzi. Możemy stracić wszystkich ludzi. Gdy nie ma już nadziei w mózgu, rodzą się dziwne myśli. Jakie myśli? Ciemność. Czy tę ciemność widzisz tu, pośród nas? Terror. Premiera serialu w czwartek, 5 kwietnia w AMC.